Hello again. Today we're going to be playing a text-based choose-your-own-adventure game called Champion of the Gods. I have with me once again my friend Ryan, and he's going to hopefully provide some entertaining commentary as I read this. Yeah, let us begin. As soon as we get there. My computer's pretty fast, dude. Relax. I call it's it. open. Uh-huh. Okay. My computer's pretty fast. Old, but pretty fast. Okay. okay. Now the let's call get this of, started. The call of destiny. You awake in darkness, stirred from sleep by a sound like thunder. Sitting up, you can hear your breathing and the heavy beating of your heart. Apart from that, the night is quiet. Was it only a dream? You look at the chamber around you. Moonlight bleeds through the shutters. Damn, this is a lot of reading. And you can just barely discern the clay walls and the forms of your other family members, alert and awake like you. They're waiting. Maybe you should pause in between each of the paragraphs, so that way at least I can say something. Maybe you making fun of my speech patterns. I'm just saying in between the paragraphs. That was an opportunity for a joke, and you completely missed it. Fuck you. Fuck you, Michael. Fuck you. The noise is louder when it returns. A long, rumbling howl. Inhuman, to be sure, but brimming with rage. Whatever it is, it must be at the edge of the village. And now it is joined by the plaintive moan. Whatever. Plaintive moan of the sentinel's horns the alarm. Yes. See, I can read. Fuck you, too. I can, I can do, too. I can do, too, too. Remember, is this like pointless? Is this like wow. <laughs> so, uh, This is why I wanted you in on this. This is a four-way session. Like that. Um, I don't even know what this story is about. So Neither do I'm I. Gonna, how about I read? <laughs> I'm going to read something. By all means. Okay. You feel your father spring to his feet, the earthen floor shaking beneath you. He throws open the window and the entryway to let in more of the moonlight. Clasping his tunic over his shoulder, he takes his spear in hand and readies himself to face an unknown enemy. An archon of your village. As. As archon of your village, he is no stranger to the task. Your mother... Dawned her chitin. chitin. That's how I always chitin. pronounced it. Her chitin, already whispering the prayers to Sonus that will bring the warriors straight. You're yelling. Sorry. Should yeah. have seen your parents prepare this way many times whenever there is danger. Until now, you have always watched them go in silence, but tonight is different. Tonight you feel certain that you must fight by their side. Next. Okay. You rise to join them, gathering your cloak. You reach for the spade, hoping to use it as a weapon, but your father stays your hand. Not you. You are a brave child, but you are not of age. You glance into the darkness. The younger sibling watches you closely. No doubt perturbed, perturbed by the thought of being left alone, yet you are sure the little one would come to no harm. Just as you are sure that you are needed at the edge of the village. Your mother smiles at you warmly as she steps into the night. She does not have to tell you what she expects you to do. There is a firmness in her eyes. You look to your father. He too expects your obedience. But a force greater than either of you is guiding your hand. What will you do? Let's read the options, Michael. Make my apologies and run. Streakable. I'll stomp back to my mat and pretend to obey my father. Rebuke my father and run. Politely return to my mat and pretend to obey my father. I kind of like stomp back to my mat and pretend to obey my father. <laughs> because that's the most um, renegade version. Yeah. I kind of, okay. You... I never knew skulk was... I don't even know what that means. But <laughs> you skulk back to your mat and sit there. There are children twice my age who can barely be trusted to reap what 
wheat at harvest time, you spout. I own you pout, you pout. Shut up, Michael. I'm a grammar Nazi, dude. You I should know this. Yeah, I know. I only ask that you let me show you what I can do. Your father's face betrays his pride. The time will come when you are ready to fulfill your ambition, but that time is not yet at hand. Your father waits for you to return to your mat. He does not leave until he has seen you sit down beside your young sibling and stay there. Then he is gone. You can hear people running through the village past your door. You can feel the excitement and the danger beyond the walls. When you are sure enough time has gone by, you begin making your way toward the door. A young voice calls across the room. So I guess this is their way of having you choose a gender. Big okay. brother, where are you going? Or big sister, where are you going? What, what, what would you like? I, I know what I'd pick, but... Part of me wants, just for shits and giggles, to choose big sister. That's what I'm going for. I think that's what we're going to do. Well, given that I play Flora Legacy, well, played Flora Legacy on my website's okay. roleplay, it's fitting. Okay, well, that, that, that means nothing, so... Oh, you need to read that roleplay. It's okay. full of fun. You, full of fun. You turn to your younger sister, Parosia. <laughs> Take one look into her eyes and decide to, A, tell her the truth about my presentiment of danger, B, decide to leave on the pretense that my father has forgotten something, or C, you decide to threaten my sister with punishment if she makes noise while I sneak away. I'm going with option A. Oh, I don't even know what it is. What was that? <laughs> to tell her the truth. Okay. You cannot lie to your you cannot lie to your sister. My beloved Perosia, you say. I believe in my soul that the gods are speaking to me tonight. And they have told me that our parents and all the other villagers are in grave danger. If I do not leave now, it may come to pass that you are unable to continue speaking because Perosia Perosia is already crying in horror at the words you have spoken. It is a long wail reminding you she is little more than a babe. Oh, oh. Perosia, you mustn't cry about it. I promise to protect. Yeah, she's going to get us in trouble. Possibly. <laughs> she's going to get us killed, probably. I hope not. But That'd there... be a short-lived game. <laughs> a very <laughs> short-lived game. <laughs> Yeah. It'd be fucking hilarious. Um, but there is no consoling the child, and you are forced to flee into the night with her moans echoing over your shoulder. Yeah, she's getting us killed. <laughs> um, you take up a spade as you go. The village that you run through is empty. Most of the people have remained in their homes, waiting for the trouble to pass. As for the sentinels, you can hear them at the wall. You let the sound of the commotion pull you forward. Oh, uh, sorry, I was reading ahead. You feel that the decision to disobey your father was not really yours. Even so, you tell yourself that it was a choice, one you made because... A, it is right and good that I should protect my community. B, I must prove my father wrong for underestimating his daughter. C, the fools of this village will perish if not for me. Or D, I feel the crushing weight of my own destiny upon me. I must follow the, its call. That's lame, but okay. You're lame. Did you have so much fun with this? I'm trying to help you, you know. I know. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you right in your ass. Fuck you. <laughs> in your ass. I'm oh sorry. God, if this I, got, I got friends that are going to be watching this shit. I'm sorry if this is awkward. <laughs> I really am sorry. No, you're not. You're enjoying it every uh, bit as much as I am. Admit it. <laughs> I admit nothing. I admit nothing except your jackass. Maybe a little bit. I get to pick the next one. <sighs> okay. I've, I've picked too many already. I agree, and your choices suck. Maybe. They're lame. You are tired of waiting to taste the excitement of combat tonight. All that will change. You are sure of it. You arrive at the edge of the village. Your father is already here. He 
has ordered his sentinels into a defensive position. Their spears are raised in a long row, facing the high mound of stone that is your village wall. Father orders the fighters into second position. That's what she edge, said. Oh, God, I knew it. I knew it. And the edge is of their weapons tilt toward the coming enemy. You can hear a raging creature outside the wall, ready to come in, but it has not shown itself yet. This is how it sounds like the Attack on Titan. Yeah, it does a little bit. It does. It like does. I said, we're going to get killed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Farther back, your mother prays with the other attendants of Sonus. Their low murmur swells to confront another unearthly cry. Some of the attendants carry torches, hoping to provide light for the battle, but these seem only to throw more shadows. Suddenly, a length of the wall, oh God, this is literally Attack yeah, on Titan. I agree. Suddenly, a length of the wall begins to topple. Stones come crashing down, burying themselves in the soil, and the monster tumbles over with them. It glistens in the moonlight, the hairs on its back like tiny spears. You just barely recognize oh. that it is a boar, the size of which you have never seen. You are horrified. Oh, wait, I'll read the options. I already the options first. You are amazed, intrigued, ready for action. You do realize horrified. they can see what we're reading, right? It's recording the screen. I know that, my phone, but why else, why else would we read? True okay. enough. True enough. We, we don't exactly want to make them have to read in a short amount of time. That's not very fun. No, it's not. This is better. And the commentary is what makes everything like this. It really is. I know. And I gotta say, so far our commentary is lackluster. Yeah. Well, I blame you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I I'm said you need you. more people to do this. because. Well, I live with my parents. I don't exactly have that luxury. I know, but you're lame. No, thanks. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Maybe okay. Taka. Okay. So you are. I hope hor- somebody gets that reference. You are horrified. Oh my god! It's a giant boar. I'm so scared. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> the sentinels advance. <laughs> a female warrior leaps out of formation to stab the boar's neck but is swept aside with a single turn of its head. A young man comes forward now to break its hide with his spear. Before he can, he is gored by the beast's tusk. Tusk. English. Tusk. The beast's tusk. And thrown clear, bleeding into the dust. The sentinels pull his body clear of the fight, and a priestess runs to his side. You know that by the time the night is over, many will fall to this beast. It is impossibly fast and impossibly strong, yet you know that you will defeat it. You step forward, scrambling ahead of the sentinel's formation. Your father, bewildered, cries your name. Oh, dear, we get to figure it. Cursa. Zonpa, I think that's how you pronounce it. (laughs) Sotara. And I will tell you my name. I like, I like Cursa because it sounds like you're cursing. Kirsa. Curse. Uh, I, I like, to, I want to pronounce it Kirsa. Okay, well, then but I don't okay. like that option. Okay, whatever. Okay, then Sotara it is. It's easy to pronounce. Sotara! Okay, whatever. Okay, you read it. Sakara! He calls, horrified that his daughter is facing the beast alone. But you will soon show him there is nothing to fear because you know that you are. Hold on a sec. I so kind of wish we picked that fourth option because I bet you we could have made the name. We could have had so much fun with that. We could have nah, named it. This is true. We could have named her penis or something. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. Or Brace Face. Brace Face! Or something stupid. Something. Yeah, that would have been We're lame, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. Because... Damn it, I horribly failed on that Japanese... word. Kanichiwa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna roll with this. Ohio gozaimasu go soji-sama. Kanichiwa. I wonder if anybody will know what I just said. I, I don't know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> You're welcome. I said, hello, master. 
per day or something equivalent. I, so I, I guess no one, if anyone didn't know, they know now. Pretty much. Because you just told Pretty them. much. You're welcome. So they're probably just going to be like. Or pick an option. Um. Okay, well, I'm going to backtrack <laughs> a little bit. Because you know that you are. A strong enough to snap off the beast's tusks. Boar's tusks. Boar's tusks. Read much. One by one. Read much. Fuck you. <laughs> because you know that you are quick enough to lead the boar on a frantic chase into the valley beyond Tone the village. Tone it down a little bit. Tone it down a little bit. You're being loud and my parents are asleep. Or resilient enough to absorb the creature's attack with my body until an opportunity to fight back presents itself. I like, I'd, I'd say that's the well. I kind of like the idea of absorbing the creature's attack with your, my body. <laughs> He's not a fat son of a bitch. He doesn't have that ability. He's not obese. How, we don't know that. He's not fucking flubber either. We can decide that. She is not going to be fucking flubber with that name. <laughs> fuck no. She's not flubber. No and she's not lame. obese as fuck. You're okay, no. fine. Fine, fine. Yeah, don't get us I killed. Win. You dart ahead of the creature and wave your spade, drawing its fury. It lowers its tusks and charges. Something inside you tell so it. Let it come. <laughs> and we're a female character. The poor I wasn't going to go there, else. but okay well, then. That's what I'm here for. Okay. That's not where I wanted to go with my gaming videos, you jackass. Thank you, though. You're welcome. The You're creature welcome. runs straight at you. Oh, God, it gets it's worse. My turn. It gets worse. The creature runs straight at your <laughs> chest. You are right. <laughs> hoping to find your heart. I'll be honest. When I first saw that, I swear it said hoping <laughs> to find your heart. But no, it says hoping to find your heart. Oh, and even better. <laughs> The force of the blow <laughs> is incredible. <laughs> you are thrown into the air in a wide arc, <laughs> landing on the beast's hide <laughs> with a shuddering thud, <laughs> and then falling aside like one of Perosia's dolls. The great boar lumbers away from you, <laughs> seeking its next victim. <laughs> Can I just read the rest of this? Please. Okay. On the ground. <laughs> I can't take this. You, oh ins my God. you instinctively reach Ooh. into your tunic. <laughs> expecting oh to find fresh blood. But your flesh is unbroken. You can already feel the pain subsiding. <laughs> what should have oh, killed shit. you? So what? apparently our character is a fat son of a bitch. You can absorb a lot of I violence. I told you. <laughs> you can already feel the pain subsiding. Mm. What should have killed you has really <laughs> bruised you. And even those <laughs> bruises are beginning to heal. Ooh, have, shit. have you had this extraordinary power all along? <laughs> yeah, she's been fat all her life. <laughs> or did it only appear for the first time today? She must have had a lot of donuts this morning. <laughs> when you first had need of it, when you stand up again, the beast Ooh. turns to follow the sound. You have been told that animals do not reason as people do. That you are sure you can see, can Fusion on its face. I don't blame it. <laughs> then it rushes forward again to finish what it started. Good I'm picking board. the That's option. a good boar. It's in a finished job. <clears throat> okay, allow the boar to deal me another blow with its touch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Taking the opportunity to plunge the spade into its height. <laughs> Leap. Let the beast stomp on me with its... Oh, God. <laughs> now she's apparently into abuse. Let the beast stomp me with its hooves, taking the opportunity. Ooh, did you just fart? No, that was the chant. Okay, I good. I promise you. Let the beast stomp me with its hooves, First taking time, the no. opportunity to thrust my spade into, into its, its belly. belly. 
Let the beast run out of energy attacking me until it gives up. I hope you pick one of the first two options, please. <laughs> please. I'm sorry. I, I got to pick option two. Yeah, let just, the, yes. Okay. Just the right. back. Can, can I just. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go away. Go away. Okay, I don't. Hold on. God dang it. I didn't get to see what it said. Oh, sorry. I unlocked an achievement. Achievement unlocked. Okay, well. And then I got can I read, interrupted by something. Can I read it? Yes. Because that would be good. Go for it. You sit down. Tone it down. Sorry. You keep getting I, I out. Don't, my I, hands are sleeping. I have problems. Oh, I've noticed. For years, I've noticed. Okay. It's entertaining. You sit down and beat the ground. <laughs> Bidding the creature come. Oh, God. Oh, this is this game has been horribly misconstrued. And I love it. The boar accepts your offer. <laughs> Rushing forward and dealing... You really shouldn't be trying to drink. No, you shouldn't. Rushing forward and dealing blow after blow to your body with its powerful hooves. But each time it comes down to crush you, your spade comes up, piercing its abdomen. Down a little bit. The boar only realizes this after the third thrust oh, God. when you bury the spade to its handle. It squeals in fear and scampers away from you, suddenly understanding what has happened. You stand and take a spear from a stunned <laughs> sentry, taunting the beast. <laughs> Come. By now, the creature is wary of you. It turns and flees, either in terror or of wisdom. I wonder which one. <laughs> Squealing as it scrambles over the wall, marking the stones in its path with its own blue eye. Your mother runs forward and embraces you, grateful to look into your eyes once more. You are a fool, she wails, tears flowing down her cheeks as she holds Hello. you close. A fool. Now it's getting back to the boring. Because the boar ran away. Okay. Um, over her shoulder, you see the archon, your father. He stands dumbstruck among the other villagers. His eyes fall on you as though you are a stranger. The other villagers stand behind him at a distance. They are muttering to each other. They look back and forth between you and your father as though they are afraid of him suddenly. <laughs> this is not how you imagined you would be received after such a triumph. What is the matter? Next. Time on Grand Ballsy. <laughs> when you return home, your sister is still whimpering in the corner, as she must have done the entire time you were away. When she notices that your mother and father have returned with you, she begins to wail even harder. She rushes forward and clings to their legs, one after the other. Ah, father. Ah, mother. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, boar. Ah. Oh, okay, my Back to your place, Perosia. Your father barks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, man's Perosia. We have but your leave. father silences her with a look. <laughs> your sister. <laughs> God. We have turned this into something I else. Okay. Your sister returns to her mad again, there to resume sobbing as quietly as possible. You notice your mother's eyes narrow. Your father does too, though he ignores her gaze. He pours water into a bowl and drinks it deep. When he speaks, his eyes watch the earth beneath your mother's feet, not her face. Jerk. It was one of the great boars, he says to no one in particular. Perhaps the Temek are harvesting their piglets again, and we are left to reap the wrath of the full-grown. And maybe they're another crossbreed. He was trying to make babies with us. Uh, I love how that worked out. No mention of your great deed. Not even a note of thanks. No joy or pride in his eyes. At least he casts a glance at your mother. At last. At last. He casts a glance at your mother. Glance, not smooch, you idiot. I wasn't going. 
But now I might. But oh, oh, right. fuck you. But there you is... do that, and I'm kicking your ass out. That. <laughs> but there is no love in it, and the look she returns is just as wow, cold. Wow, that was perfect timing. <laughs> you wow. love it, and you know it. <laughs> you lay on your mat and try to sleep, your young mind wandering, wondering, wow, English mind, you your young mind wondering what your actions tonight could have possibly done to make your father so angry. Underage sex. Mm. Um, Quite possible. Okay, I'm going to read the options. Perhaps my father is embarrassed that a child like me has done what he could not. Well, he's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> that don't mean shit. B. Perhaps the boar was scared. Sacred. With sacred soundness. My father has said that the gods punish mortals who harm the beasts that are holy to them. Don't like that answer. No, but it sounds entertaining. See, perhaps I have made the whole village jealous of me. My new power has doubtless made them mad with envy. They're all envy of your fat? Okay. <laughs> Damage absorbing fat. D, perhaps I have frightened our village. My new power may make my family lose faith. I've lost my face. Can you help me find it? I like last one. Um. Okay. That's. I like this especially because of my joke. I like the second one. No, I, I mean, I like the second first one. one was funny too, because his dad. Yeah, a girl. Like that one. <laughs> Not a girl. That's, you can only hope that you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, is there something you'd like to tell me now? <laughs> can I read this one? Okay, go ahead. You can only hope you are wrong. You awaken early the next morning, but your troubled thoughts do not allow you to return to sleep. You keep your eyes closed anyway, lying still and listening. You hear your father leave without a word to begin repairing the wall. You hear the washerwoman collect parosia for the day. Okay, that sounds really bad. Yes, it does. Finally, your mother stirs you. You cannot fool me, Satara. I know you are awake. Rise, it is time for your lessons. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, are we going to get some girl and girl action? <laughs> Maybe. Upon your arrival on the hilltop. Oh, secluded girl and girl action. The other... Oh, God. <laughs> the children are watching. <laughs> That got bad quick. Yes, Upon did. your arrival on the hilltop, the other children cheer unanimously. They have already heard the tales of your victory over the bull. Oh, oh so that's what they're calling it now. And they know a hero when they see one. Oh, God. What is the boys is and even some town? of the girls take turns. Oh, God. <laughs> they, take turn, they take turns hitting you. Hitting on. Oh. Hitting you. Oh, yeah. hitting you. Oh, I thought that said hitting on you. No. That's why I was no. laughing. No. no, they're hitting they you. They succeed only in hurting their own hands. Oh, God. So our fat literally absorbs and damages people. You That's feel. Some ass fat. Yeah, no shit. Oh, of course. Sticky fat. Like, read the first option. You feel proud to enjoy this, this moment in the sun. <laughs> you feel haunted by the implications my new powers may, have, may yet have for my family. Powerful indeed, and ready to reap the rewards of such power. <laughs> you, you feel disappointed that my own father did not share in my enthusiasm. <laughs> wow, so apparently she likes taking abuse according to that one. You know you, what? I like no, that uh, one Let's read the last one. You feel surprised by how easily my friends are amused. Truly, they are pathetic. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like... I, I, I like the abuse-inflicted one. I, I, I also like the one above it. I like the first one. Just proud to enjoy this moment in the sun. Now, or, yeah, I'm going with the middle one. How you feel powerful indeed and ready to reap the rewards of such power. The implications of that one are hilarious. Well, let's see how that goes. Finally, your instructor, Riakos. I was going to go with Rikos. Rikos. Rikos arrives. Rikos. It's Rikos. I A, not whatever you said. Okay, I don't care. I'm calling him Rikos. The reads. R A K O S is Rikos. Michael, stop being a jackass. Maybe. Rikos arrives. The reeds 
of discipline in his hand oh, are a sure sign that today's fun is at an end. Aww. Right down. Right down. Right. Yet you find it difficult to focus on your lessons today. Your thoughts are restless. Besides, there seems to be something happening in the village below. Yeah, lots of sex. Oh, I'll read the whole thing. Oh, oh look. Um, no, 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 no. I want to read this. I want to read this. This one's. Dude. Look. Quit getting close to my face like that. That's <laughs> creepy. I do not want to kiss you. I'm straight. Look. Slightly. Mostly. Whatever. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Is there something you want to tell us all, man? Um, I like the occasional guy on guy furry picture. What about it? If it's cute, I like it. Yes, I do that a lot. You're look, welcome. Look, they are gathering. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> they are gathering, Michael. What that oh mean? god, this is fucking great. Look, they are gathering. Whispers. Woo! Holy shit, this is already a 30 minute video. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't know how much longer we should go. Um, um, okay, whatever. Look, they are gathering. Whispers. Well, not, people don't typically like to watch these longs of videos for Let's Plays. And wow. this isn't even technically a Let's Play, this is a Let's Read. <laughs> Well, got rainbow. It. Well, if if we're if if people watching this have as much fun <laughs> as we're having we're reading adding, this, I'm yeah, sure it's, it's gonna be I'm good. Sure be good. You can always make it into parts. This so, is true. Well, I could always if, split it up yeah. and edit it. Yeah. Um. Speaking of which, I need to get an editing program. I go. Let's get back to the store. Yes. Look, they are gathering. Oh, whispers. God. They're gathering. Hethica. Sperm donations. Oh, Michael. Whispers have guy. She's poking you. Oh, God. And pointing down the hill. Oh, God. She's, oh, bound to go. Oh, well. <laughs> More girl than girl action. Whoa. Email. She is your favorite classmate. Oh, jeez. But she can be a terrible busybody. Well, no kidding. Always sticking her nose into everyone else's food. <laughs> and everyone else's asses, too. Apparently. See she how many apparently thinks she's part dog. See how many people have taken to the streets? You, I will bet the elders are being called to council. And look over there, Sephora. It is your father. They must have called him, too. Ethica is right. Your father is amongst the villagers now, converging on the chambers of judgment. <laughs> oh, geez. The other villagers seem to be giving him a wide berth. B I R T. <laughs> E R T H. I'm making a joke. He's already been born. He can't be born again. At Giving Saturday. him a wide birth. A wide the motion in the birth. streets is worrying indeed. This could this, this meeting, meeting of the council, council concern my fight, fight with the boar? Probably <laughs> about the tobacco <laughs> nomads whose greed and carelessness caused the boar attack in the first place. No, no concern of mine at the moment. I must focus on my lessons. lessons. I don't even know what I just read. <laughs> <laughs> I just was focused on reading at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that was entertaining. This commotion in the streets is... I apparently want to talk about the boar. I kind of like that. The boar, you know, sure. wanted to make out with a fat chick, so. Uh, do more than that. I want to the implications of the. Damn, I'm popular tonight. Uh, that was me. Okay, I'm going to read. I'm going to read. Aww. Are you pushing my head towards yours? No. I was notice, trying to give you a little one of those. Notice I said head on head. Um. Wow. Yes, I know we're making lots of gay jokes. It's entertaining, though. Yes, it is. The implications of the council meeting fray at your mind, and you soon find yourself lost in worry. Perhaps your father is in trouble because of your attack on the boar last night. Perhaps they will strip him oh, geez. of his title as Archon. Perhaps. Dot, dot, dot. Perhaps is my preferred word for perhaps, as well as maybe. Okay, are you? Are we gonna switch? Ah, uh, perhaps. 
you th uh, your thoughts soon flee when you feel the reeds of discipline. Oh God, wrapping your back. Uh, I would have said wrapping your back because I didn't see the double P. <laughs> double P. He said double P. What about it? You look up to see Ryko's. It's Ryko's. It's Ryko's. Damn it, Ryko's. <laughs> you look up to see Ryko's coming over you. Pay attention, Sotara. When the sun begins to settle in the western sky, your lessons draw to a close, and you begin your descent to the village with the other children. Yay! You are only halfway down the hill when you hear Raiko's Raiko's voice again. So Tara, please return and wait with me. I want to do things to you. The, the children turn and follow your eyes. Atop the hill, one of the council's attendants. Uh -huh. Oh my <laughs> God! My God. <laughs> You're welcome. You <laughs> Atop the hill, one of the council's attendants is standing beside your teacher. It is the decree of the elders that you visit with Mogaria tonight. I will bring you to her at sundown. Oh, God. Mogaria. Everyone knows that name. The old woman who lives in a hut on the eastern edge of the village and dresses like a foreign queen. The cat lady, in other words. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> The, ad the adults say she is a healer, but the other children have another name for her, the Cat Lady. <laughs> you can hear Hethika whispering it under her breath now. The witch knows Yeah, the that cat sounds about right. The Cat Lady. Witch is like cats, though, so that actually fits. For your part, I am sure that she is every bit the monster my parents <laughs> say she is. For your part, I am sure those who think Mogaria is witch is a witch or merely unaccustomed to her ways of hoarding cats. For your part, I cannot rule out the possibility that she is a witch. This world is a wondrous and dangerous. Or for your part, I think who all who call Margaria a witch of I like the I like, first. Uh, I like the second one. Uh, well, let's read it. For your part, I am sure those who think Mulgaria is a witch are merely unaccustomed to her ways. I like uh, it. Hoarding cats. Yes, I like it. Cats give her powers, and they also give her a free clothing line. And AIDS. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is she doing with cats that's getting her AIDS? Well, she's a witch, so she also has a broom. But again, what is she doing with cats that's giving her AIDS? Shoving them up her ass. Oh, geez. Well, that's one way to hold <laughs> cats. That's also one way to sneak them through airport security when they don't let cats on planes. I don't think they'll survive through that, though. That sounds like a great movie. That sounds like a disturbing porno. That sounds like... The lady with cats in her ass. That sounds like a movie you should get, suggest to the guys who make Sharknado. Fuck no. Because they would totally make that movie. Yeah, they probably would. The old, Fuck no. The old lady that has cats in her ass. On a plane. You are sure Mogaria is merely a knowledgeable old woman. You cannot even trust that she is a mystic, let alone a witch. Ryakos. 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 Don't get in my face. Well, I am not going to kiss you. It's Ryakos that... Ryakos brings you to her hut at sundown. It is a ramshackle structure made of bundled twigs. <laughs> he knocks on the door. Okay, my turn. <laughs> An old woman answers. She is Hello. she is draped in an elaborate robe like those worn at festivals. Oh, why can't it be an old raggedly torn robe? Let's go with that. It's an, it's an older robe. Coat. It's an it's old, a, tattered, hand-me-down yes. cat's robe. Yes, that's what we're going Made with. Made of cats. I screw what it says on the text. <laughs> that's what we're going with. Her hair is white, but she must be quite proud of it, for it is Plated into curls and decorated with opal beads. Oh shit. So she likes to do drugs. With her cats. What the fuck are you talking about? Her cats are the source of the drugs. She sniffs their piss and shit. Have you not seen South Park? Um, not that one. No. <laughs> and then she shoves them up her ass. Yes, after using them for drugs. Yes. This is going so far south, it's unbelievable. 
That's not the only thing going south. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. And this must be Sotara. No, 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 no. So this, or, and this <laughs> must be okay, Sotara. Sotara. Come in. Come in, my child. I'm I going to hope. eat you and shove a cat on my ass in front of you. Given that our character is female, that sounds so bad. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I hope that the council feel. has worried you too much. I have only to ask you a few questions tonight, and if you will be off your battery again, come in, come in. Are you a virgin? You enter alone. <laughs> and you're not coming, and you're not going to get to keep. I'm sorry. I'm going to lock you in the basement. Uh with my old boyfriend. He's now dead. Okay, I've just decided I'm going to be the old lady. <laughs> so anytime the old lady talks, I'm going to do it, and then you do everything else all the time. <laughs> okay, so every time she talks, I am. But her hut is om- her hut almost seems larger on the inside. Well, her hut. <laughs> I love it's a hut. It almost sounds like a vagina. A little bit. So much of it is filled with strange objects. Oh, God. <laughs> it's filled with lots of cats. Lots of cats. Figurines with long arms and dark eyes. Oh, cats. Plates painted with images of great winged towns. Cow- cats. cats. Bowls with snakes' faces for handles. Cats. cats. <laughs> you are reminded of the Temple of Sonus with its many offerings of thanks to the god. Cats. But the images of these objects are strange to you. Yes, cats are very strange. Very. They are from the eastern lands, these cats. They are. Mogaria says, noticing your attention to her wares. Oh, God, to her wares. (laughs) Depictions of their gods. They are gifts from my friends, the cats. So apparently this lady likes Egyptians. Also. Oh, my (laughs) God. A brush of a cat. A cat. A cot. A cot. That sounds more painful than a cat. A cot's much bigger than a cat. (laughs) How about a cot? No. Okay. She gestures to her cloak. Oh God. She (laughs) she gestures to her cloak proudly. This is a gift to (laughs) you. It was given to me by the car herself. A most Oh, <laughs> interesting woman, the car, most generous one, but so powerful. Well, she can be quite fussy, to tell the truth. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose it comes from being the car. I don't even know what the car is. <laughs> don't listen to what they got to say. Just Mort- cats, cats, Mort-Gario cats. Cats, cats. cats. you as though she had forgotten you were here. <laughs> Ah, I That's, forgot you were here. I was talking about cats. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, oh. Oh. But my, I am being such a rude host with my cats. You must be famished. Would you like cats? <laughs> Please help yourself to fruit and cats. <laughs> we've got cat kebabs. We've got cat sashimi. And we've got cat. We've got on a stick. We've got ass cat. <laughs> <laughs> They're eaten after I've taken them out of my ass. She gestures to a lacquered bowl. It's filled with grapes. Oh, you begin God. eating them, and the old woman smiles. Oh, God, they're poisons. I am only believe that you trust my hospitality. I have heard the other children think me a witch with cats. Now, let's read the choices. Two. To feign be, ignorance of the matter, be, admit to, that many of my friends are quite frightened of her, or feign surprise. I guess I like option two. Let's go with option two. Option boo. It's very lovely. Indeed, I have heard the other children's stories. I refuse to believe them because they don't like my cats for some reason. Probably because you shove them up your ass. The old woman laughs. Good for you, my girl. In truth, I am merely a healer. And your voice just turned male for a second. And we're no magic. There have been no witches in Agosia since the end of the first age. I'm tired of not reading. 
She waits until you have had your fill to speak again. Now I must admit I have many questions for you tonight. Before I start asking them, do you perhaps have a question for me? Why have the elders called me here? Why are when, you shoving cats up your ass? When can I leave? <laughs> <laughs> what is the first age? I'm like, when can I leave? <laughs> oh, well, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm, yeah, I'm probably am killing this poor, helpless fat girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're making her low self-esteem. <laughs> when can you leave? Look, Aria laughs. Very soon, girl. I merely need you to tell me a little about yourself. So, hey, please have a seat and we will begin. You oh, find. Sorry, okay. I was reading ahead again. You find one of the few places not covered in artifacts and sit down. And cats, too. There's lots yeah. of cats everywhere. And, and, and cats covered in shit that so, you don't want to touch. So, tell me of your battle, child. <laughs> There While is, you're sitting on the cats. There is talk of your prowess all over the village. What was it like fighting the great boar? Oh, well, that's to say, that's me too. I don't care. I'm, I'm tired of not having content It to was read. the happiest moment of my life to find that I possess such power that I, I like am that bad. One. Yeah, I like that one. So far, it seems to have caused me nothing but trouble. It was thrilling indeed to the best of the beast. I merely did what was necessary for our village's protection. Yeah, I like that one. Which one? That one? The first one. I like that one. Okay, how about you be the old one? <clears throat> Such a sanguine humor, Mokaria remarks. You're gonna be you old. have never heard these strange words Michael. and have no notion <laughs> how to respond to them. Sensing the confusion sure. in your silence, Mogaria continues. I was referring to the humor of your soul, my girl. Its mood, its character. Now tell me, how did you know that the boar would not harm you? Did someone tell you that you could resist its attack? I got your attack. It is a question you had not thought of before. In truth, you had no knowledge of your power before you used it. You tell Mogaria so. She ruminates over your response for a few moments. In that case, I have another question for you. It may seem frivolous, but I assure you that it is quite important. Mogaria peers inquisitively into your eyes and fixes her gaze there hard as though she is daring you to lie. Where, Where do you, you go when you dream, she asks. This is a strange question, to be sure, but you can feel from Mogaria's voice that she is very serious. Is there perhaps a place where you have been many times, a place that you dream about over and over again? Is it my vagina? <laughs> you look back upon your dreams. You have been to so many strange places in them, it seems impossible to name them all. But indeed, there is one place you have dreamt of more than any other, you say. It's my vagina. I have dreamed of being, of being in a great gray city made of stone. It overlooks the water boob. I have dreamed of being in a twisting canyon that is the color of soil in summer. There is a noise above me, like scrabbling legs. Okay, I've dreamed of a great building on a mountaintop shaped like the half moon. I like the second one just because it's under the most dirty. I like the first one, personally. Okay, well, as long as you actually will take this seriously, it's have fun. Because that was kind of boring. I'm trying to. Okay, well, you read it so fast. Holy shit, this has been recording for 47 minutes. Okay, I didn't really count them. I am too, but... And I don't even care what time it is, so... Ooh, that's a first. I like it. Let's continue. I, I don't have to. <laughs> I got work tomorrow, though, so we can't go past 10.30. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, I have to work, too, but... Mm. Um, I work. I, I hope to do this as my livelihood if I get popular. I don't have to get in until 9, so... I guess I You're lucky. A bit. I gotta be up at 6, and then I gotta be at work at 8. Tomorrow's Thursday, so it's like that. Bulgaria not. You describe the city of Kaleidos, she says, a beautiful place far from our village. But I have never been to Kaleidos. I have never known anyone who has been there. I have only seen it. Perhaps it is a <coughs> premonition. They are not as unusual as you might think. Tell me, have you, ever, have you never dreamed of another city, a great one in the sky, shiny, white as a cloud with many tall people in it? 
Shiny, do you like this video? I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Why are you talking like that? That's annoyingly. I don't know. Annoyingly, uh huh. English, yes, but. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know. You shrug. It is the first you have heard of such a place. Come to the table, then. Yeah. There is another way. Across... On the table. Oh, jeez. Oh, Get geez. on the table. Across the room, there's this wall table with two chairs. On the table is a tight boat. Oh, and oh, a shiny shit. bronze knife. Oh, shit. Kinky. You sit at the table. Mogari oh, shit. sits across oh, shit. from you. Give me your hand, she says. Give her your hand. Ask why she wants my hand. Refuse to give her my hand. I like the second hand. Yes. Ask why she wants my hand. I must now shed some of your blood, child. Only if you drop a bit. I assure you to perform a simple test. Now give me your hand if we'll only have a moment. Why am I being so tested, you ask? Even though that's... Even though this is a female character? Yeah. You have STDs. We want to determine which ones. The elders have some questions about your newfound power. Ogaria says, What? My... Um... What large fingers you have. <laughs> the answers are in your blood. She speaks these words with a finality that indicates she will tell you no more. Now shall I make you cut or would you prefer to make it yourself? Does the old woman think me a child? I will make the cut myself. I cannot bear the thought of harming myself and Mogaria can make the cut. I should face my fears. Help myself. Um... I like the third. Yeah. Okay, fine. With power such as mine, I can no longer think of myself as a child. I must make the cut myself. Very well. You try to cut your thumb, but the flesh will not yield. Thick skin. <laughs> the skin on your <laughs> other fingers proves likewise impervious. Mogaria shakes her head. This will never work. You're too fat. She stands, and after rummaging through a chest on the far side of the hut that she cut off someone else's body. Oh, jeez. Yes, sorry. Returns with a long brooch brooch, brooch pin. Shines, there's a gift from a very powerful seer. Sometimes I think it is cursed. I've pricked my own hand on it so many times. You're only able to collect a few drops, and those only from the thin skin on your palm. It will have to be enough, Mogaria says, collecting the pin. Come with me. Oh, yeah, with the cat. So, yeah. What the fuck, dude? On the night of the great boar's attack, the moon was nearly full. It is even brighter now as Mogaria holds the pin up to it. The cool light makes your blood look like a shadow. Mogaria regards this and breathes a sigh of relief. Nothing. Why, it barely even reflects. She looks down at you and smiles reassuringly. You have passed the test, child. Your blood will be glowing white in the moonlight if you were... Your blood would be glowing white in the yeah, moonlight if, if you were the child of a god. But see, your blood is as dull as dust. Now we know for sure that you are mortal, and that is good news indeed. Yeah, she, the only thing special, she's just fat. Yeah. <laughs> like, just because you're fat doesn't mean you're immortal. You're yelling still. Why, you ask, more than a little disappointed. I you can think, think of a thousand <sighs> reasons why it would be exciting to be the child of a god. Mogari looked at you with amusement as though your question has betrayed your youth. It is good news because it means that the Archon is your father. I knew that from the beginning. Finally, finally you understand not only why you are here, but why your father has been so angry since last night because you're so fat and so changed towards your family. Seeing your great power on display, he thought you might not belong to that you might not be his daughter at all, and that your mother... Suddenly, your thoughts explode with a thousand questions from Mogaria. One of them is foremost on your mind, and that is the question you ask. If I am not the child of a god, then where does my power come from? The donut. Yes. What would have happened to me if I were the child of a god? You get more donut. What would have happened to my family if I were the child of a god? They wouldn't get any. 
Did my father think that my mother had been untrue to him? Is that why he is so mad? I don't like that answer. I like the first one. Yes, because... Donuts. Yes. They're LSD and drug-laced oh, donuts. Wow. They have steroids, LSD, kryptonite, um, acid. Um, I can't think of anything. Cat good. urine. <laughs> so that's what that flavor is. It I is can't a believe gift. I just went there. It is a gift from the Weavers. Mogarius is. One best not question. The Weavers? How a fuck gods who decide human fates? They are the masters of destiny itself. But come now, we must return you to your family. You will want to know what we have discovered. We have discovered she's they, not a virgin anymore. And you are fat as fuck. Yes. As fuck. Please. FAF, fat as fuck. <laughs> that should be the name of this video. FAF. <laughs> and then wait to see how long it takes people to figure out what that is. I like it. I like it. Or the adventures of FAF. <laughs> I like it or something like that. The adventures the great of adventure. Miss Fat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Miss Fat as fuck. <laughs> your father and mother await your return in the doorway. As you draw closer, they read the good news in Mogaria's face. Your father begins to smile for the first time since the previous evening. Greet them, Mogaria tells you. Greet your family, child. Then she gives you a nudge on your shoulder and sends you running into their arms. Your father's home is almost desperate, as though he thought he had lost you and has found you once more. Oh, God. Aww. Oh, God. That sounds so bad with the jokes we've had. Yeah, but for some reason it came off rather endearing, which is yeah. weird. It's weird that that was me and not you. Even so, it is many days before your mother will speak to him again. His sudden coldness to her and to you, his daughter, has left a mark in her mind that is not soon erased. Every night, you hear him whispering sweet words for her in the darkness, trying to win her back. He seems to fear her anger in a way she did not fear his. And perhaps in the end, it is this that wins her over. One morning, some week later, and you do not know how, but they are back the way they were. They speak to each other with ease. They smile together, and their eyes meet. Love has returned to them again, and your father has been forgiven. Options. I am only relieved that this incident has passed. B. I will never trust my father again. C. Perhaps now my family will finally acknowledge my achievement that I'm fat. <laughs> Next option. I pity my father's vulnerability. Or the last option is I remain shocked that my father could have been so cruel to my mother. Yeah, I like that third option. Yeah, same. Same. It's the only thing that really fits with our personality. <laughs> yes. Your father's pride has distracted your family from paying you the honor that you are due. You only hope that you will that they will not make this mistake again in the future. You are obviously meant for great things to have been granted such power as a young mortal. That's being Miss Fat. You well. have only to wait to discover where it will take you next. Two years later to the hospital. A, yeah, and I think this is a good stopping point. Well, that's clipping it anyway. Holy crap, is that a new story? Um, this that? this text-based adventure is 25 megabytes. And oh all God. it is is text. Oh my God. This game is fucking huge. Oh my God. Yeah, like I said, I think this is a good stop. I point. wish we had more time. You and me both. Anyway, this has been another Let's Play from High Voltage Gaming. Hi, I'm Ryan. And this is my friend Ryan. We will hopefully be back in Another time. the future. I hope so. I hope you guys plans. like me. I'm awesome. I liked it. You made it a lot. Like of fun. this video if you want me to kiss Michael. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck no.